Stability AI has released four new control net lowers and I'm going to show you how to install them in three easy steps. Let's get started. First, let's have a look at what these new control net models are. The first one, as you can see here, is a Kenny model. The next one is Colorize, which you can use to either colorize black and white photos or even sketches and illustrations to give you different color variations of their designs. Next, we have a very nice depth map model. And finally, we have something called a Sketch LoRa. This will allow you to combine two different images with different styles and then create new variations from them. That is a really interesting way to use Stable Diffusion. So now let's have a look into the install process. First, what I want to suggest to you is to update your ConfUI to the newest version so that it's compatible with the new ControlNet LoRa's. So for that, go into your ConfUI folder and in there you can see an update for Folder. Open that up and in there you will find an update conf UI bet. Double click that and let the update finish. After that you can close the command window. Next I want to suggest to you to install the conf UI manager. This will help you keep track of your custom nodes that you install and also tell you the missing nodes and then install them for you. This is very easy to install. Scroll down on the page where you see installation and here you have commands. This one is the one we need. git clone and then the web address of the conf UI manager git. So copy this text line here. Then you want to go into your conf UI folder, then into the conf UI folder again and in there to the custom notes folder. Open the custom notes folder up and then click up here in the address bar and write CMD. When this command window is open, simply paste in here the command you copied before and hit enter and let it download all the files for you. The next step for us is to download the control net LoRa files. Now when you go to the link that I have provided below, click on files and versions and here you have two different folders. One is control net LoRa's rank 128 and the other one is rank 256. The 128 version is smaller in size but also a little bit less precise but probably also better for slower computers. The 256 version on the other hand is almost double the size. It has more precision but also is slower in the processing. In both of these folders on the right side you can see a arrow pointing down. This is for downloading so when you click on that the download starts and you want to put this into your ConfUI folder in there again into the ConfUI folder and in there into the models folder and in there into the control net folder so that all of the files are found in here. In addition to the LoRa's, you also want to download the workflow. So click on this folder here and in there you see several JSON files, one for each. We have a Kenny project, a depth map project, a recolor project and a sketch basic project. So download all of them to any location you want to. Now the next step is that you want to run ConfUI. For that you want to click the run NVIDIA GPU.bat. The first time you start ConfUI, this will do some installing for the manager. And when it's loading the first time, you can see down here on the right side a button for the manager. Now this is not doing anything right now because you need to open one of these workflows that has nodes in them that you don't own yet. So what you want to do there is to click on load. When you have opened the workflow, this will give you a warning that some of the nodes are missing. You can close that warning and next you're going to click on the manager. Inside of the manager, you will click on the button to install the missing nodes. In there, you will find the missing nodes and then on the right side, you see an install button. Click on that install button and wait for it to finish. After that, you want to close down the ControlNet CMD window and restart ControlNet so it can finish the install process. So now that we have the extra nodes installed, you can open up with load on the right side any of the JSON files you want to test. So here I have already loaded the depth map project and as you can see all of my nodes are working. Now what you want to do is when you have here the load control net model for your control net LoRa, you want to click here and select the one you want to use. In this case the depth LoRa and then of course also you want to load a checkpoint here that you want to use from your list. 
In my case, I'm using SDXL Base 1, but you can, of course, also use any other one, like, for example, Dream Shaper XL. I've made a video about that here. After that, you want to load an image down here. I've used the Mid Journey image of a woman standing in a street. And then to render everything, you see up here on the right side the Q prompt button. Click on that. Now, to explain the process here a little bit better to you, you can see down here your positive prompt your negative prompt. Here you have the strength in which the control net is applied with the strength, the start percentage and the end percentage of how many steps the control net is supposed to be using. And then down here you have the case sampler where you can set the amount of steps. You can set the CFG scale. You can set the sampler type. And on the very top, you can also decide the seed you want to use. So all of this build is very easy and intuitive to use. In this case, because it's a sample build, you can see that it does not use a refiner. It only uses the base model, but still you can see from my sample image that the resulting image is pretty amazing. And yes, I'm sorry, this isn't automatic 11.11. It isn't updated yet to work with these new control net LoRa's. But as soon as it is, I will make a video for you. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and see you soon. Bye. Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet. And well, um, yeah. <laughs>